groups and outside activities. So thank you. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you, Kimber. And Brittany, Boys and Girls Clubs, welcome. Hi, thank you. So my name is Brittany McKay and I'm the HR manager with Boys and Girls Clubs of Western Pennsylvania. Um, we are currently hiring both part-time and full-time positions with us. Our part-time positions are summer positions that could end up continuing out throughout this school year. They are our youth development professionals and throughout the 10 of the clubhouses that we are hiring through Allegheny County, um, they will be there to assist the kids in our different rotations, our STEM rotations, our art rotations, our sports rotations, as well as helping provide their breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and um, taking them on field trips as we are allowed to go on them. Um, we are also developing our STEM program more um, this summer and are looking for a STEM manager um, to kind of help build the curriculum for us as well. Um, so with our summer camps, they are Monday through Friday from 10 to 5 p.m. And we have a morning care program and an aftercare program for those parents that need to do earlier drop-offs or later drop-offs. And again, these are summer positions, but with the summer position, we do look at the youth development professionals as a possible um, part, full part-time positions throughout the entire year. Okay. Yeah, you guys are killing this game. All right, beautiful. Thank you. If again, you want to contact people, you can use the private messaging and then I have contact information to share with everyone as well. So Allison, the floor is yours. Hi everyone, I'm Allison. I'm with Attack Theater Dance Company. So we're looking for teaching artists, which are like my favorite humans and artists and creators in the universe. So um, we are looking for teaching artists uh, for the summer and then ongoing from there. Um, so Attack Theater is primarily a modern dance company, but our education programs, which is what I manage, um, are really focused on creative movement and creative learning. So uh, different ways of looking and thinking about movement and art. Um, so we, uh, it's really about empowering the people that we work with to just think about movement in different ways and how it can best connect with them. And then I also love it because um, kind of our creative movement programs really uh, allow for empowerment within the teaching artists we work with. So teaching artists can really bring their styles, whether it's music, dance, uh, theater, art, um, and really integrate that into our creative movement program. So they're really, they're feeling empowerment within themselves as artists, which I love. Um, so we have a mix of programming this summer. We have some full-time opportunities. If you're looking for like a Monday through Thursday, Monday through Friday, um, summer like teaching gig. Um, we have some weekly, um, some pop-up workshops. If you're looking for just like a one-time workshop that you want to lead, or if you want to try out something on some people, um, there's a lot of different teaching opportunities that you can do. Um, so I will, um, I will definitely put the information to our website uh, where the job description is on our website, um, along with my contact information. So you can just reach out to me if you have any questions. I'd love to talk more just to get to know you and explain the positions a little bit more and the pay is anywhere between around like 50 um, to 125 dollars a day just depending on the program depending on how much time and that sort of thing and then you'll need your clearances and any sort of um and then we are looking for at least a high school diploma um and then other than that we just just want you uh and that's it for me Thanks, Allison. There's great comfort note in the chat. If you could, when you pitch, please tell everyone where your jobs are located geographically. And then again, any links or contact information to share in the chat also creates more accessibility for everyone too. So um, always really helpful. And Human Services Corporation, are you here with us today? Going once, going twice. If you come in, Mallory, if you are here later, we can come back to you, but I'm going to kick it over to our friends at Youth Places. 
Hello, thank you guys again, just for having us. Um, we actually filled our summer positions, thankfully. So, but um, like many of the other organizations who have spoken so far, we are looking for that to roll into the school year. So youth places, we're currently operating at a four locations on the north side, downtown Pittsburgh, um, McKeesport, and then we just uh, moved into our East Hub, which is out of the Kingsley Center. So currently looking to hire for two full-time positions. Um, I'll give a brief, quick little summary on each of those. First is the site manager position. Now this is for those self-starters, um, looking to get introduced into the nonprofit field. Um, getting your feet wet with management really goes a long way and being able to build your resume and portfolio and, and being able to um, basically navigate throughout the nonprofit sector. So we're looking for those who have at least a high school diploma. Um, college degrees are preferred simply for site manager positions solely because there is um, some curriculum development that goes into that. You'll be working day-to-day -day operations of one of our four sites. You'll be assisting with partner programming and coordination, schedule programming, um, and then also just start contributing to the after-school um, programming day in and day out for our youth. We service grades six through 12. Um, and as I mentioned, we are in those four locations right now. The other position is our engagement coaches, which act as a second staff member to the site manager. Um, high school diploma is needed for that position specifically. This gives you the full autonomy to basically create and then hopefully build you up to be a site manager for one of our four locations. So we operate on a strength-based um, placement, which and by that we simply mean Whatever your strengths are, whether it's education, physical athletics, um, uh, school partnership and engagement, we try to put that at the forefront of your job description, right? So not just following our day-to-day -day operations as an organization, but we want to feed into you um, and allow you to grow in your strength-specific areas because that's how we treat our case management and our youth profile. So we do the exact same for our staff. We want you to get into what it is that you feel confident when presenting while also allowing you to create a um, portfolio and resume so that way you can look to transition into a site manager. Um, as I said, we are operating out of those four locations as well. So looking to fill positions with the engagement coach in those north side, downtown, McKeesport and east locations as well. Um, but yeah, pretty much, pretty much it um, in terms of just a quick synopsis of what we're looking to hire. I will put my information into the chat as instructed. <laughs> um, so if there are any additional questions um, or any of that, please feel free to email me. I'll put my phone number there as well if there are any additional questions. Um, and don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, if we don't have any positions filled, I will definitely go on ahead and hand over the torch to any other of these fine organizations that are here today as well. So. Thank you guys again. I appreciate you for having us. Thank you, Wes. I love that more is more mentality too. That's a beautiful way to close. And so next up, uh, the Jasmine Nairi campus. Myron, are you here with us right now? And again, people are gonna come in and out. This is a fly by the seat of our pants type of event. So if you're not here, that doesn't mean that you can't speak later. So we're going to keep moving. And that takes us to Sarah and Communities and Schools. Welcome, Sarah. Thank you. Hi, everybody. My name is Sarah Berg. I am the program director with Communities and Schools of Pittsburgh and Allegheny County. Uh, we work with school districts throughout um, Allegheny County, and we're actually starting to work with um, Westmoreland County a little bit as well. So, but the positions we have this summer are specifically for youth between the ages of 14 and 24 uh, through the Learn and Earn program. And um, this program is focused in the McKees Rocks area. Uh, we work specifically with McKees Rock School District, um, although we do have a, an online component to our program that will be fully virtual. So if there are students that live in outlying areas that don't um, have a provider of Learn and Earn, they can certainly choose to work with us in our online uh, program. And um, that 
online program is basically focusing on learning about the trades. Um, it goes from things like construction um, and goes all the way to being like a medical assistant. So, um, and there is also a way for uh, the participants to get a yellow belt in Taekwondo if they're interested in that as well. Um, the good thing with the virtual program is that they can be certified, they can be NOCTI certified, which is um, an employer for um, different, not an employer, it's, a, it's a, a body that certifies people to work in different fields throughout the state of Pennsylvania. So um, that is one of the options that we have. And then we also have an option to work in a media uh, production company in McKees Rocks. Um, the participants there will be doing things such as learning about um, video, photography, um, uh, presenting themselves on the radio. They do interviews uh, with people um, around the city. Um, and also we are working with Carlo University um, on getting people certified or getting people into a program with Carlo to go into their early childhood development um, education program. So if, this, if the participants work with us through the summer, they will have a leg up into getting into the um, early childhood edu education program at Carlo. And Carlo is actually offering um, a fully paid uh, four-year education to the students who participate in this. So it's actually a really, really awesome program that is not just focusing on the summer, but offers the opportunity for them to move into a longer term option for education that they may never be able to afford otherwise. And Carlo will um, offer them the full ride uh, for that. So um, if I will put my contact information in the chat and if you have any, any participants who are interested in either of those options, um, send them my way and um, we'll make sure that they get signed up for Learn and Earn. Thank you. I am. Thank you, Sarah. Beautiful. Lorraine, are you in the Zoom with us today? or a representative from the Right Child Care Solutions, otherwise known as the Learning Loft and the Early Excellence Project. Um, we can come back to you, my dear friend, then we're going to roll through Jackie and the Pittsburgh Learning Commons. Are you here on the call? Yep, see we're here. Hey, girl. Uh -oh. Hello, uh, so I'm Jackie. I'm the director of Pittsburgh Learning Commons. I'm masked up right now with some of our team, Lisa and Julian. Uh, but we are based at Community Forge and we do the youth programming out here, specifically really trying to promote youth interests. And so figure out partnerships and pathways uh, for youth to pursue the things they're interested in uh, via us or via all the amazing friends on this call. Um, this summer, we are running some learn and earn programming, and we are hiring for that. Uh, we have three positions open right now, uh, looking for someone who's a good ops person, so helping us with our admin. That role potentially is going year round as well, and so um, that's one thing we're looking for. We're looking for someone, an art artist, or someone really delving in design, could be graphic design, some hands-on design. Uh, to do some instruction with our youth this summer. And then a third person who's a coordinator role um, to help partner with some of our partner organizations. And so we have, um, all of those are gonna be at $15 an hour, uh, kind of in the 30 to 40 hours a week range during the summer. Um, and then, like I said, the one has potential to extend. Um, Try to think what else is going on, but I think that's about it. I will share our website, pghlearn.org, um, that has more details on that. 
Thanks, Jackie. And Mr. Jones, Bob, are you on the call? For a representative from Brothers and Sisters Emerging slash Garfield Youth Sports. I don't see Bob and I don't see Wendy. So five, four, three, two. Moving on to the Neighborhood Learning Alliance. Steve or a rep from NLA, are you on the call? I sure am. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Um, hopefully I made this easy for everybody. So the information I'm going to be referring to in my little snippet here, I've made a Google Drive link that has our flyers, our Indeed link for you to apply in addition to some information that I'm going to be talking about, about these positions. So that is there for everybody. So hi, I'm Martha with Neighborhood Learning Alliance. I'll be talking about two of our different programs. Um, Neighborhood Learning Alliance is a small nonprofit based out in Bloomfield Garfield, but we serve students all throughout Pittsburgh. So first up, I'll be talking about our elementary summer camps. So we have about four locations. It's going to be in the Garfield area, South Hilltop, as well as um, within the Hill District. So in the South Hilltop, we'll have two locations. It'll be Monday through Friday, 8 to 4 p.m. We're looking to hire a site coordinator as well as support staff. So site coordinator, your roles would be, you know, managing the day-to-day -day of the respective site and then support staff, just like the position states. So supporting the coordinator, making sure the day-to-day -day operations are moving smoothly. Um, and it's great. You're working with kids rising K through five. It's a fun time. And we also provide um, students with breakfast, lunch, dinner. So great opportunity anybody who loves working with kiddos over the summer and then we have our high school U program so this is in partnership with uh, learning the learner program where we have high school students and taking college level courses and this is going to be delivered in a variety of different ways you know granted with the pandemic so some things are in person some are hybrid um, and some are solely virtual but we are in partnership with CCAC Allegheny campus as well as Carl University it'll be June 14th to August 6th Monday through Thursday nine to four and there are a series of classes, so I please encourage you to use that um, link to see the different classes we're offering. But we're looking to have class coordinators as well as class tutors. So class coordinators really help manage the classroom, making sure students are getting things, you know, getting their assignments done on time and managing the tutors and communicating with the professor of the respective class. And tutors are there to be essentially TAs. So if you're interested um, in teaching and you want to get a head start, this is a great opportunity for you as well as something to put on your resume. So students who are currently in college or beyond um, who love teaching and helping students achieve every any, achieve that anything is possible, please apply for this position. And we've been doing this since summer 2016 and we have a 95% plus success rate and that's because of our wraparound support system. So students, as long as you're in high school, you're able to get these college credits. Um, and also if you know students who are interested in applying to be a part of our learning program to get paid for those college credits, our application is still open. So all of these opportunities for those who are want to work or get these college credits, please apply. And I will add that link again. And that should have all the information you need. So thank you. Awesome job, Martha. Thank you. And it occurs to me because so many of the orgs on this call are talking about learn and earn that we might want to do a quick check for understanding because there's learn and earn. And then within that, there are lots of opportunities. So Branch one learn and earn is an opportunity for teens to receive work experience and payment in partnership with lots of different organizations, some of them for profit, some of them nonprofit. Where the where we also see other opportunities for adults in learn and earn someone who is a little more learn and earn experience than I do you want to hop in here just to do a quick check for understanding. I'll jump in. Um, learn and earn. You you can actually be an adult. You can join as a participant up to the age of twenty four. But also, there are those organizations that are running the learn and earn program who may have positions open for providers for. Um, 
people who have been out in the field who already have a, a, a full-time job or who may be off for the summer and need to have summer employment. Um, some of the providers are looking for um, people to work and work with the participants of the Learn and Earn program. So I think I'm assuming that's the distinction that you wanted us to make. I'm not sure. Sarah, thank you so much for jumping in. That was really helpful. And Martha, I'm sorry, did, were you trying to say something? Yes, I wanted to say thank you for that clarification. So the jobs that I've listed on that link um, for to apply, those are for support staff, not the students in Learn and Earn. It's a support the program itself. But I was also saying if you know current high school students, they could apply through the Learn and Earn program. So thank you for that clarification. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. All right, Keisha, the mic is yours. All righty, thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm hoping you're enjoying this beautiful sunny day. Um, my name is Keisha Gomez, and I am the co-founder and executive director of Hope for Tomorrow. Um, Hope is a nonprofit based in the West End community of Pittsburgh, and we um, service neighborhoods like Sheridan and Elliott. Um, we have a year-round out-of-school program where we work with youth beginning in the second grade through to those in their second year post-secondary. We started this organization with six kids sitting on our family's living room couch, and we have now served close to 200 youth in the past 10 years. So this summer, we will be hosting our sixth annual summer camp. We are hiring for two program admins and six program monitors to work with 60 elementary and middle school students, as well as three program monitors to work with 50 high school students who will be attending as part of their learn and earn experience. Um, program admins will provide entry level office support and student services. The day to day responsibilities will be routine. The administrator will have responsibilities, including daily student intake, admin tasks and student support. Our program monitors will work with students in a general education classroom. Responsibilities include engaging and building relationships with the youth, organizing and leading various small and large group activities, as well as facil facilitating classroom instruction. This individual will be fun loving and have a lot of um, enjoyment nurturing our young adults and young people. The candidate will embody patience, lots and lots of patience, and possess the ability to meet the unique and individual needs of our youth. The schedule for elementary and middle um, school students will be nine to five. High school is from 10 to four. So no matter how big or small our groups are, we still run our organization as if we're sitting on our living room couch and we treat all of our kids like family. So we need people who love to smile, who are highly encouraging and have a passion to serve the youth in the West End community. I hope to meet some really great people out of this. So please reach out. Our website is Hope for Tomorrow Inc. The positions will be posted there, but you can feel free to reach out before then. I will put my email in the chat. So thanks so much for your time. Thank you. And Dwayne, handing it over to City Parks. All right, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Dwayne Ashley Jr. I'm the program supervisor for the City of Pittsburgh's Department of Parks and Recreation. I'm in charge of overseeing 10 recreation centers all scattered throughout the city um, and also three satellite sites. And we're, you know, at City Parks, we're very excited to actually, you know, be coming back online this summer. Obviously, last summer, you know, unlike, I mean, not unlike, you know, like most organizations, um, you know, weren't able to operate in full capacity or in any type of capacity at all. So we're very excited. It's our biggest push, you know, come summertime. And we are hiring for four different positions, you know, and we really need people. Um, two of the first positions I'm going to uh, mention, we're hiring part-time and seasonal. The part-time positions will be year-round, you know, so it won't just be this summer. The seasonal positions will just be, you know, to help out with summer camp or, um, you know, our art card or wherever else we might be this summer. Um, you know, the recreation part-time positions, um, you know, we're, you know, really gearing up for our summer camp right now. Um, you know, and that's going to be at five of our locations. It's going to be two different four-week camp sessions, um, you know, just to try to, you know, reach as many kids as that we can possible since, you know, with limited numbers and everything. And the seasonal aspect of that, you'll solely be focused on the summer camp. You know, once the end of summer camp is over, you know, that's when the position is ended, but the part-time will run year-round. 
we are also hiring for our community enrichment program. And that's also part-time and seasonal. Like I said before, part-time is year round. Oops. Okay, sorry. Yep, part-time is year round. And you know, um, you know, we're really looking for people with more so uh, arts backgrounds or, you know, people that are familiar with, you know, any type of the Adobe suite and things of that nature. Um, our seasonal pro, uh, position for that program would really be, you know, concentrated more so on the art cart, which is if you're not familiar with it, we have, you know, just a, a cart, you know, that provides different aspects of art and different enrichment activities for kids and it travels throughout the city throughout the entire summer. Um, we're also hiring for our, our food program. We serve food for the children or uh, people up to the age of 18, 21 with a disability. Um, we're, we serve that you know, throughout our recreation centers and also the spray parks. And um, you know, I'm gonna just continue on the spray park aspect. We're, we're really looking for lifeguards. You know, we're really trying to operate and you know, open as many pools as we can possible you know that's still you know um you know a tentative plan you know in terms of which pools and things of that nature are going to open this summer but we're you know really hire uh looking to hire lifeguards so we can you know reach the you know the, the most you know underserved areas and just everywhere in general so um you know we're we're very excited to really be coming back online you know it's been a long it's been a long pandemic it's not over yet but you know we're really trying to push through and serve, you know, Pittsburgh in general. And, um, you know, I'll drop the link for any of the, um, you know, applications into the chat and my, my contact information, I'm always available. So please, you know, feel free to contact me whenever and, um, you know, looking forward to, you know, getting people on board. Thank you, Dwayne. And Dan, Sarah Hines House. Hey everybody, I'm Dan Berkovich. I'm the Quality and Improvement Manager here at Sarah Heinz House. Um, so we have multiple positions open. Um, Sarah Heinz House is located on the north side, uh, right by the Heinz factory, uh, just uh, you know, not too far from the stadiums. Uh, so we have been in person since last summer. We actually offered summer day camp last year in person. Um, so we are looking for positions for our summer day camp. Uh, which is on site in person. Um, we are looking for a couple day camp counselors that will be leading a group of kids as they go around with the same group around the building. Um, we are also looking for somebody to uh, manage our kitchen, which is uh, where we serve uh, lunch um, to uh, the day campers, but also as an open site for the community. Um, so we are looking for a kitchen manager uh, on our day camp for our day camp portion on um, and then we also have an overnight resident camp up in Elwood City that we are also running this summer. Um, so we are looking for um, camp counselors that like to uh, be in the outdoors and like to, uh, you know, help uh, younger uh, kids uh, get more comfortable in the outdoors and learn a little bit about outdoor education um, and these you no know, trace principles and those types of things. Uh, so those are the, the, the three main positions. We're looking for camp counselors up at our resident camp. Uh, we're looking for day camp counselors. And then finally, we're looking for a kitchen manager. So, um, and uh, one of our, our, our biggest uh, things that we've been successful with, with being in person for this long has been our, our size of the building. We've been really uh, focused on safety. Um, if anybody has ever seen Sarah Hines House, it's a huge building. Uh, so we're able to do this in a safe manner with limited numbers still. But uh, but yeah, we, we are committed to being in person as much as we can be. Um, and you know, it, it, it's nice to be able to work safely with kids. So um, I'll put my email in the, the chat and hopefully we'll hear from you. Thanks, Dan. And Cameron, Laurel Highlands. Good afternoon, my name is Cameron Boston. I'm the district executive for the Scout Reach District of the Laurel Highlands Council. Uh, Scout Reach is designed to allow uh, young, excuse me, young men and women the opportunity to participate in scouting no matter the race, gender, ethnicity, or uh, financial background. Uh, this summer we are hiring for the program mate position. Um, <clears throat> we will be uh, featuring programming at six boys and girls club sites throughout the greater city of Pittsburgh. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Uh, our program maids will be responsible for running day-to-day -day operation within programming. Uh, meaning that they will take the kids outdoors, uh, they'll expose them to the expose them to the outdoors, uh, have have fun with the kids, play different games, teach them about leadership and uh, good manners, <clears throat> uh, teamwork and community engagement. Uh, our program aides are the soul of our program. Um, with our with our programming, uh, the design is that we want to make sure kids are able to excuse me, able to participate in scouting uh, without having to worry about where they come from, um, and that. Their opportunity is, is just that they have the same uh, background, they have the same opportunity to participate in scouting as someone would uh, that lives in upper class neighborhood or that doesn't have the means to participate in scouting. Uh, we're really excited to provide program uh, for the Boys and Girls Club this summer, uh, as we did last summer. Uh, it was a great opportunity um, that spilled over into our school year program by service by servicing uh, their community hubs. So we're really uh, excited to come back this year. Uh, we're also going to be working with uh, Propel Schools to host uh, host program at two of their sites as well. Uh, a regular day would look like a nine to five. Uh, programs will be from nine, excuse me, from nine to eleven in the morning, uh, with a two-hour gap at one site, and then we'll transition into a second site in the afternoon from three to five. Uh, pay rate is from ten, excuse me, from uh, ten to twelve dollars per hour. Uh, summer program will be running from June fourteenth through August sixth, with the opportunity to work on the weekends uh, for outings and camping trips with the youth. Uh, at the end of the summer, we'll also be hosting uh, day camps at Camp Gaiasuda which is our camp facility uh, in Sharpsburg. Uh, <clears throat> uh, some of the sites that we'll be uh, seeing uh, staff will be seeing students at will be uh, Still Rocks Elementary, uh, the Shady Side Clubhouses, Lawrenceville Clubhouse, uh, Orchard Park Clubhouse, uh, Carnegie Millville, and uh, two Propel schools uh, to be announced at this moment. Uh, if anyone has any questions, we'd love to hear from you. I will put my contact information and our website in the chat. Thank you. Thanks, Cameron. And up next is, hi, Nina. <laughs> Hello. Hi, everybody. It's so good to see so many lovely faces. Um, uh, we are doing a whole bunch of different things at Assemble this year. We're going to be doing in-person and virtual uh, programs. And I'm going to put, I mean, you got muted. No, when you hit the space bar. It does many different things, but um, we're looking for part time summer teachers. This can also lead into school year jobs as well. Um, we're looking for folks who have their GED or their high school diploma. And um, but we are hiring learn and earns through the Bloomfield Garfield Corporation. So if you're interested in being a teen who's working under 18 working at Assemble, please apply through the BGC. Um, but for our part-time teacher, um, it is a $15 an hour job. It's up to 30-ish hours a week. There is a lot of paid training that comes along with this, a whole week of paid training, actually. And um, it's for programs that we'll be doing at Assemble, but also within our other community partner sites, such as what used to be known as Summer Dreamers, as now Boost, and um, some other friends who are on this call today. So if you are interested um, and you'd get learning, you're doing arts, technology, all the things. So lots of making, lots of hands-on stuff. Um, we have some really fun curriculum that we've been diving into within Afrofuturism. So looking back to create the future that is actually inclusive. Uh, and I think I'll put my contact in there too. If you have any questions, please reach out. Perfect. Thanks, Neen. And uh, Lo, your turn. Hi, everyone. My name is Lo. I am with Venture Outdoors. We are still searching and hiring for at least four more outdoor educator positions this summer. So if you like spending time outside and connecting youth to the outdoors, and staying active outside, uh, then this is definitely a, a role for you to consider and think about. Uh, in the summertime, I, I call it our big five. We do kayaking, biking, hiking, geocaching, and fishing, but then lots and lots of other environmental education, outdoor STEM learning, crafts, um, you know, structures, everything outside that you can imagine. And so it's a great opportunity to use your creativity 
um, and also learn some new things about the outdoors as well. You don't need to know how to kayak, fish, bike, or do any of that. Uh, we have you go through paid trainings uh, so that you learn all the skills you need to in order to teach these activities. We will be partnering with a number of different camps and schools this summer, including many partners on this call today. The pay rate is starting at 1050 an hour and we have super flexible um, scheduling. So, you know, you can, we can work with you in your scheduling needs uh, so that you can work with the youth that, that fits your schedule. Um, other benefits that, that come along with this position include free kayaking for you and a friend at our concession, um, free or 30% off all of our activities on our activities calendar, and again, uh, paid training the first two weeks of summer. Uh, we of course ask for necessary clearances, but we do also ask for staff to be trained in first aid CPR. And our office is located on the south side, but we work with all different schools and camps throughout Allegheny County. Um, and we work with you all to determine if you have a preference on which region. So a couple of regions we work in, North Side, Hill District, Hilltop area, um, South Hills, and Clarion. But I will drop my contact information in the chat and I will also include the link to apply for the position of outdoor educator. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Cool, thank you. Can't wait to be on that river this week, this summer. And uh, Maureen. Hi, thank you for this opportunity. And it is awesome to hear about all the wonderful things going on throughout the city. Uh, my name is Maureen Anderson, and I am the Programs Director for Voices Against Violence. It's been in Pittsburgh since 1992. Um, it started as street outreach and in 1995 became a formal organization, um, and it focuses on violence disruption, um, pioneering programs in street mediation, conflict um, resolution, restorative justice, and programs like that. And one of the primary um, violence disruptions that we do is this year will be the 26th annual free summer camp for children ages 4 to 14 in the South Pittsburgh Hilltop area. It is a institution there that has been working with multiple generations. So it is really fabulous. And we are looking for people that love to work with kids and like to be outdoors. We have 90 some acres. We work out of McKinley Park and the community center up in the Belts Hoover neighborhood. Um, we have kids from Belts Hoover, Allentown, Knoxville, and the whole surrounding areas. Um, camp will run from um, June 21st. The first week will be training week. It'll be a paid week. And camp officially opens on the 28th and runs through um, August 13th. We run from 8 a.m. till 3.30 p.m. Children get lunches and snacks and, and breakfast and a host of activities, including field trips to the pool and other places around the community. Um, so we are looking for some folks that might um, want to be a camp counselor and work with either, you know, four to seven or eight to 11 or 12 to 14 year olds. Um, we are looking for people that might want to teach coding or robotics. Um, you like arts and crafts and creative things, um, or you're big into the environment and would like to lead some of those programs. Um, you need some communication skills, positive role models, organize, um, can manage a group, and really like to have fun and share that with the kids. Um, we'd like a GED or high school diploma. Um, clearances are needed. Pay starts at $10 an hour and goes up depending on experiences and, and things like that. Um, like I said, this is a nonprofit. And we also have another small opportunity with Refocus, another um, related nonprofit. And we are looking for someone that might like to do some transcriptions working from home, looking at um, video presentations and, and just doing a transcription of that. And that's a pay per job and a work from home. But camp last year was all in person at McKinley Park, lots of masks, lots of hand sanitizer, lots of happy kids outside. And this year it will be a fully in-person program once again. So I'll put the information in the chat. Thank you so much. 
Good luck to everybody. I know it's going to be a fabulous summer in Pittsburgh with everybody working so hard to make a positive impact in children's lives. Thank you. Thank you. I had the pleasure of being in that camp last year. Just the sweetest, most loving community as all of your communities are. So I highly encourage you to visit each other too if it's safe to do it. Um, and all right, we're gonna get rolling with our mighty final few, but I'm gonna encourage everyone to do a shoulder roll and take a deep breath. You've been paying attention so deeply for an hour now. Let's get that stretch in. Oh, I just felt my back crack. It felt really good. <sighs> because next up is the great, the one, the only, the badass Kate Nightquest and the Homeless Children's Education Fund take us away final four. Thank you. Thanks for that intro. <laughs> I'm excited to talk to you all today and it's good to see many of you that we work with as well to talk about our summer instructor position. So we uh, at the Homeless Children's Education Fund provide programming to families and students at shelters and housing agencies. So we partner with different organizations all throughout Allegheny County, but the position we're looking for is focused in East Liberty right now. And the great thing about this position, having done this previously myself before I was in my current role, is that you get to spend the summer outside working with a small group of kids. It's really flexible and you get to spend a lot of time being really creative and flexible in the activities and games that you create. We also bring in a, a dozen or so enrichment partners. So many of the people that are on here, you know, we work with to bring into the program to supplement. So you don't have to recreate the wheel for everything that you're doing with students. Um, we do all kinds of literacy games, music and enrichment, and it's primarily working with students in grades K to eight and, uh, and their families as well. We do some family engagement nights. So if that's something that you're interested in getting more experience working with families and family engagement, that's a great part of working with this program. And it runs from the end of June um, to the second week in August. And like many of these other opportunities, there's some paid training involved with it as well. And um, yeah, I'll pop the position description into the chat and um, yeah, feel free to email me with any other questions, but we're really just looking forward to bringing the students who may not have the opportunity to access some of these other great programs, bring some great programming to them where they're staying with their families. So thanks. Thank you, Kate. And next up is Ashley in Queens Gambit. Hi everyone, it's great to see everyone, um, even if it's just by little little squares and boxes. Um, I'm Ashley, I'm from Queens Gambit, and I'm gonna make this, um, make this short. So we are a nonprofit here in Pittsburgh. Um, we offer chess programming for youth grades K through 12. And we have a lot of different summer programs going on, summer in person, summer online. And we are looking for different um, youth instructors and people who can help facilitate our programs. So no, you don't need to know how to play chess. We have a lot of different instructors who will be teaching chess. This is more so for um, you know, young adults who are interested in being either camp counselors or helping to support young people um, as we have a lot of different, uh, different exercises and um, roles for those those groups to play to help facilitate conversations with with young people about their community and and about strategy and everything that's going on in the world so um, that's the opportunity we have we're looking for about five people. Um, we already have some onboarded but we'd love to look for more again it's flexible so if you prefer to just do it online, you can, but if you'd rather go in person and work with some of our kids in. Um, in the Hill District or Homewood area, we would love that as well. I'll put my information here in the chat, but you can just email me um, if you are interested. Thank you, Ashley. And um, our final adventurer, Ms. Ali Ms. Alicia Alisa George. Sorry, I had a stammer and I couldn't speak for a second. Excuse me. <laughs> That's quite all right. I'm Alicia George, Executive Director of the Shinley Heights Community Development Program. Uh, 50 years of going strong with youth-focused uh, programming. We serve primarily school-age children who reside in our Hill District, but we provide services to at least 17 Pittsburgh uh, public schools, as well as uh, cap the schools within the Catholic Diocese, private and charter. 
This year, uh, really, we are looking for directors and camp coordinators uh, and camp counselors as well as students. Those two titles are interchangeable depending on the uh, program. In the summer, we call it our summer enrichment program, which is a full day, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And there, uh, we are really focusing this year on education, particularly as our uh, schools reopen, we want to make sure that our children are prepared when they go back to school, because we know we have suffered through online learning and some education crisis. We have seen some improvement this fall through our after school program. However, we know that we can't just rest on this recent reopening. So we are looking for some tutors uh, who will basically become camp counselors for our summer and continue with us year round, as well as uh, same thing with the director who will be the camp coordinator uh, to make sure all of our STEM programs and uh, all of our other programs that basically help us nurture, support, and develop our community um, with programs that simply address our academic, moral, cultural health, and recreational needs of our children. I know that's a mouthful, but the bottom line at all, uh, we are looking for camp coordinators, camp counselors, and drivers. Uh, because we are fully licensed, we ask that all applicants uh, either have all of their clearances or have the ability to obtain clearances and meet these uh, child care certifications. So you must have child care um, experience coming in with us. Again, um, I will go ahead and put a lot of this in the chat. If you will just contact us at the email I provide and the phone number, we can give you more specifics on the jobs. But this is all really focused this year towards the reopening of schools, lessening the education gap, and eliminating or minimizing these transportation barriers that our families are now uh, facing just to get a quality education or quality after school experiences. So if you want to come with tried and true, we're nearing 50 years of it and we're going to continue basically come hell or high water, pandemic or not. We have been blessed with being COVID free this year. Our mitigation efforts will remain in place. Uh, the way we did that last summer was through a lot of outdoor activities, even our STEM activities. So we will continue that this year. Um, so obviously we would advise anyone applying to us to please recognize the um, the CDC guidelines and local uh, health authority recommendations because we observe them all. Thank you for this opportunity. Have a great day, everyone. That is how we do. Thank you so much, 50 years. Man, thank you so much. And then I know that we had a couple of registration links out there. So there was a little bit of cross hairs around which one you were supposed to use. So that does mean we have maybe one or two more organizations. So Shinora, if you are camera ready, the mic is yours. Good morning. This is Shinora Grayson Johnson with the Center That Cares. We are primarily located in the Hill District with two sites, um, pre-K through fifth grade at Wesley Center and sixth through 12th grade at uh, the Drawn Grayson Community Center. We just opened also a rapid rehousing site in Homewood that um, focuses on placing um, homeless or displaced youth between 18 and 24 years old. Um, we are in need of a site coordinator, um, educators and teachers, um, and some support staff for um, our two sites in the Hill District. Um, uh, so for our summer camp, as well as our year round programming, um, we're looking for someone who um, is a self starter and has uh, some experience with um, STEAM and STEM activities, um, looking for someone to give our youth some excitement during the summertime. Um, and that's about it. I don't want to take up any more time. Um, thank you for your time. I'm going to put my information in the chat. Um, and thank you. Thank you so much, Shinora. Never be afraid to take up that time. It's your time, it's your platform. Really appreciate everything you do to help our kids. And any other organizations that we missed that came in late or any other questions? I know we said until 2.30, the gift of time is real. I would love to give that half an hour back to you, but I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna stay here 
questions, comments, affirmations. I want to affirm every single organization that was here today. You are doing the darn work and you are loved and appreciated. Thank you. Thank you to all you job seekers in the space too. As a point of accountability, this session has been recorded. I did admittedly miss JB. I will follow up with him and do a highlight in the follow-up. There are also about a dozen more providers who were not able to join this call today who also have job opportunities. Those will be included in the email follow-up. We will continue to promote and push job opportunities as they are available through our email and through our social media. And as your jobs get posted, please just let us know because we know that your email space is also precious and we don't want to keep sending people your way if they could be going elsewhere. Um, really appreciate that affirmation, Latonia. That is really kind of you to say. Um, so anything else for the good of the order? I will actually be quiet now. Uh, as, as a job seeker, greetings. My name is Ira Kembrick. Um, I'm a professional dancer and artist. I've been basically as a youth dancing and choreographing around the city uh, my whole life. So uh, going abroad and coming back home and hearing that these organizations are existing for their, our children and there's places and spaces for our children. I'm truly excited. So I thank you all. Um, I know a lot of times it's difficult because sometimes in order to save the youth, uh, we find ourselves neglecting ourselves and our own children, you know, in order to give back. So I know this is not an easy feat for any of us. And I just want to commend you for keep going and keeping these programs strong. Um, if there's any way I can help out, please reach out. All of these organizations and programs sound awesome, but because I'm a freelance and I do have a vision um, that I put together, bridging the gap by crossing bridges, I teach all over the city, pardon me, um, so that I can reach as many youth here as possible. So committing to a full year would be difficult for me but I can definitely do um, workshops and things of nature, yoga, dance. I'm trained in ballet, modern jazz, acrobats and West African dance. Um, I do holistic breathing and meditations and things of that nature. And as you can see, I love being outside. So um, if any way you can uh, need to reach out to me or let me know, I'll leave my information and contact in the chat and uh, be well. Okay, thank you so much. I'm going to wait for any additional contact information in the chat, but otherwise, uh, you are given this 25 minutes back. Thank you. I see you. I appreciate you. I will put my contact information in the chat too for any follow up as well. So you can reach me at that email address. Okay, thanks everybody. Thank you. It's so good to see you. Happy summer indeed. Yes, keep it up everybody, thank you. Thanks Ira, it's good to meet you. Sounds dope, I can't wait to see more. All right, I'm going to stop the recording. Boop.